Got a little bit of bad news with you. The drone is no more. We tried to make a film on Saturday and we were going to film all around the island and uh, see if we could get a picture of the beach in one hit. One hit. Not really one hit, but see if we could get a picture of the film the beach from the lighthouse all the way round to as far as Sanibel goes. And so how we were going to do it was film one leg following the boat and then pause the drone and then land it on the boat, re-battery, which we've done a hundred times, and then take off again. I carefully worked out where the last spot was and then we'd uh, carry on from there. Well, let me share with you what happened. The beach was pretty busy, so I was trying to stay out so that I wasn't flying over people. Uh, we got down to Sundial. You can see on the right here, there's Sundial. We're coming past Sundial. And just to give you a visual, we're on the left following in the boat. My wife Laurie's driving the boat. And I'm looking for, as we're going down here, I'm looking for a spot that I can line up um, so that when we go to bring the drone in, that I can easy, re easily replicate it. So I see these two boats ahead and I think, oh, that'd be a perfect spot because I can line those up and then I can visually remember where that was where we know what our altitude was and just land on the boat at this point i'm at 30 percent battery 32 34 percent battery and an alarm goes off at 30 percent but this was about 34 percent and you can see i just pull up here so now lorry is driving the boat and we're coming quite fast along on the left hand side and i'm just waiting here so i can visually take in where i was so lorry it's a little slow to come off the accelerator or the the uh, throttle and she was slowing down slowly which is always a good thing but we really needed to stop quick so I'm burning up some battery as, as we are here but if you look to the left of the screen any second you should see Laurie come into the picture right here um, and we end up going quite a way past let's see there we go so you can see that's us there on the left so I'm like Lori stop 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 so I, I, no big deal I'll just fly out to the boat and you can see we stopped here I can see where it is and then as it's coming towards the boat um, it starts now we're still only at I'm at 30% battery so although the alarm's going off I'm still well within uh, the rights and as I'm looking at the drone it's coming down then all of a sudden it just starts coming down no no reason no reason why we're just looking at it and we're like no and boom that was it drone's gone and nothing we can do about it i spun the boat around and managed to mark actually on the controller itself it shows where the drone went down exactly and i managed to on the gps on the boat to mark man overboard right where it was and we've made them a uh a position to show where it went down. It was right in between Sundial and Algiers, about 50 yards offshore. So we got back, I marked the position, we anchored, and I didn't have any goggles on the boat, didn't have a mask or anything, but I did jump in, in my rescue underpants, uh, in my shorts, and uh, I just kept swimming what was loosely conceived as a grid. It's impossible to do when you can't see anything because you've got no goggles. But it's about to eight to 10 feet of water, now the problem is, I've got insurance with this drone, but it only works if, only if you can return the damaged drone. It doesn't matter if it's water damaged or, or whatever. So I needed to find the drone in order to get the insurance. It's an expensive drone. And no such luck. I spent about half an hour going backwards and forwards, holding my breath, diving down to about 10 feet, swimming as far as I could underwater feeling with my hands couldn't feel anything come back up and repeat and I did it for about half an hour and no luck so uh, putting this video out here if anybody is on the beach over the next few days it's a really sandy bottom here so the chances of it being back there are pretty slim otherwise I would just go back and dive it with my, my scuba equipment but the problem is it's a, a slick bottom so I'm sure it's just going to be moving it will move with the tide with a boat going over the top it's going to move but reason I'm making this video if it does wash up onto the beach just uh, past um, uh, just west of Sundial and just east of Algiers 
please return the drone to me if anybody finds it if you could return it to me it's the difference between me being compensated for a lost drone and not so um that's the reason i make this video um i was trying to make another video for everybody uh didn't quite pan out how we thought it would but anyway it is what it is um i guess we need to get another drone but uh yeah if you could share that share this video spread the word and uh let me play that one more time just because it's so painful i just want to see it happen one more time here we go so here it is this is us coming across trying to fly the boat i'm like larry slow 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 and then i'm like no problem i'll try and catch up and actually i did replay the flight back on the controller you can actually replay it back and it shows that when it went down, it was in 29% of uh, battery. So it was definitely well within its um, capabilities. It shouldn't have gone down. There's no reason it should have gone down. So really not sure why it did. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, if anybody knows the, where this Mavic 2 Pro drone is, please uh, give it back to me. I'd love to have it back. If I can just get the card out of it or just return it so that I haven't got to, so I can get the insurance from it. That'd be fantastic. Um, and then in the meantime, we're going to have to wait a little while before we do any more videos. Because I've got to get a new drone. But uh, share this if you would. Thanks very much. Have a great day.